folks, welcome to the Mother Sun Show. I'm Eiji Kaminaga of Mother Sun Toys. Today we have a special guest from the United States of America, the president of Max Toys, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome Mr. Mark Nagata. <laughs> Yes. Good to see you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So I think I met you first was more than ten years ago. Yes. And maybe in San Diego or somewhere. Yes. <laughs> yes. And uh, we keep in touch. And uh, but I still have a lot of things I don't know about you. <laughs> Therefore, uh, today yes. here I like to present here uh, your works about your works. Of course, your company. Max, Max Toys, uh, your career as an artist, it's like uh, the history of Mark Nagata. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's start. <clears throat> so, first of, all, first of all, I'd like to ask you that, uh, when and where were you born? Oh, so uh, I was born in 1964 in uh, San Francisco, mm -hmm. California. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm 53 right now. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Getting older. <laughs> yeah, that's <of> me. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you look very young. <laughs> so, um, uh, when and how did you meet Kaiju? That means uh, your first uh, experience of the Japanese monster films. Sure. Mm. So, growing up, uh, basically my father was a banker mm -hmm. and we, we would move all around California. Mm. So. San Francisco, mm -mm. Los Angeles mm -mm. area. Mm -mm. So by the time I started remembering, maybe age eight or nine years old, mm -mm -mm. we were in Los Angeles mm -mm -mm. at that time. Mm -mm. And uh, this is before cable mm -mm. TV mm -mm -mm -mm. and DVDs <laughs> and internet. Uh -uh. <laughs> so there weren't too many TV stations to mm -mm. watch, mm -mm -mm -mm. but certain stations would mm -mm. always show uh, Godzilla films, mm -mm -mm. Uh, sometimes Ultraman series, mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, Giant Robot. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, well, Space Giants, I think Magma Taishi, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, on TV. So that was my early introduction mm -hmm, to, mm -hmm. I to see. Uh, Japanese characters. I thought Godzilla films are all, uh, often, you, know, you can see the Godzilla films in the United States, but the, yes. uh, they're, they're familiar, you know, uh, especially the Godzilla films. And I, this is, it was in the 1980s, yes. um, Godzilla films, certain season, you know, maybe Thanksgiving, or I forgot, certain oh. season, you know, every day, Goza films and broadcasting, sure. something like. But I I didn't know that Ultraman is famous in the family in the U.S. So during the oh I'm trying to see if I remember during the early maybe late '60s early '70s mm -mm -mm -mm. they started playing the original Ultraman mm -mm. series uh, of course dubbed to English mm -mm -mm. Uh, on certain TV channels. Oh, uh, it's like a syndicate broadcasting. Yes, N not correct. all over the U.S. Uh, correct. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. I, I, I've sort of come to find out through my fans, like West Coast, Midwest, mm -hmm. and East Coast oh, oh. is mostly where people saw these mm -hmm. series. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And of, of course, people my age, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they all remember Ultraman, mm -hmm, amazingly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but of course, when we were growing up, we thought it was a brand new series. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, we didn't realize it was from the 60s, mm -hmm, so it was already old mm -hmm. <laughs> in I Japan. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, how was your impression of the, when you uh, watched the Ultraman first, series first? Oh boy. <laughs> uh, so, my first childhood impression is that he did not, he was not in the episode long enough. <laughs> and as soon as he came down, all of a sudden his timer was blinking, uh -huh. and I was thinking, oh no, the, you know, the fighting's gonna end so fast, right? And so, of course, in a few minutes, you know, you do his ray, uh -huh. and then it's all done. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think for me, since of course I'm a boy too, mm -hmm. I think I wanted the whole episode to be just fighting and uh -huh. punching. Uh, but as I get older, mm -hmm. and, and I watch even the original mm -hmm. versions of the mm -hmm. series, mm -hmm. uh, I've come to appreciate the, mm -hmm. the, the writing mm -hmm. and the storytelling. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. um, have you been in Japan before you watched the Ultraman season first? No. Uh, so the first time I went to Japan was actually, uh, let's see, what's, does somebody remember off camera? <laughs> what, oh, uh, 2001. Oh, really? So I was actually much older mm -mm -mm -mm. before I finally mm -mm 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 -mm. was able to come to Japan. Mm -mm. And it, I'll try to keep the story short, uh -huh. <laughs> but every, a lot of people ask, mm -hmm. why do I not speak mm -hmm. or read Japanese? Mm -hmm. 
and and why it took me so long mm -hmm. <laughs> to come to Japan. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it has to do with World War Two, mm -hmm. and uh, both my parents, mm -hmm. when they were very young, uh, went to the internment camps mm -hmm. during mm -hmm. in the U.S. during mm -hmm. World War Two. Mm -hmm. They took all the Japanese mm -hmm. Americans mm -hmm. from the West Coast uh, uh, yeah. and put them in camps mm -hmm. during the war. Mm -hmm. So, so a lot of uh, Japanese American families had to. Uh, cut ties mm. with Japan like mm. oh no no I don't know you know <laughs> I don't know anybody there uh, right? I'm American mm -hmm. and have to try to prove mm -hmm. that you're all, more American than yes. American uh, so when it came to myself I'm mm. third generation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I I don't you know <laughs> I'm, I'm fully American uh, unfortunately uh, 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 uh. yeah understand mm -hmm. yes so um, I'm very curious that the family watch Lutheran first yes. um, I'd like to ask your impression beside science fiction parts. That mm. means, for example, in my case, mm. uh, in my childhood, mm. I watched uh, American TVs, yes. like uh, Bewitched, oh, yeah. uh, I Dream Jenny, yes. or uh, Flipper. Or, yes. uh, you know. <laughs> my impression when I watched American TV first, yeah. uh, something like, oh, American people are living in big house. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> they have uh, big refrigerators. Yes. <laughs> They don't take off shoes in the house. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> that's my impression because all the kids are always curious about uh, different culture to their own, right? Sure, sure. <laughs> so that's uh, uh, my impression of the American mm, TV mm. You know, when I was in uh, in my childhood. Yes, yes. So um, my curiosity is, you know, you watch Rutherford first. fast. Yes. You're the third generation of uh, Japanese American. Yes. You never been Japan before at the time, right? Yes. So <laughs> you watch the Japan in the Ultraman, yeah. view mm. of mm. Japan, mm. you know? Uh, yeah, I, you know, mm. maybe, maybe I'm, my personality is a little more simple. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I just enjoyed the mm. series uh, uh, and, uh, uh, uh. and did not really realize, mm, 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 you know, uh, oh, what, you know, this is mod, this is 60s, 70s Japan mm, that I'm looking mm, at. Mm, 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 um, mm. For me, it seemed modern, mm. <laughs> right? Everybody, everybody has cars uh, and uh, telephones, uh, 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 and so I think maybe it didn't. Uh, that part didn't make that big an impression. Oh, I see. Although I do have to say, um, my my father mm. used to take me to samurai films, uh -huh. the Toshiro Mifune, uh, 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 uh. Nakadai. Mm -hmm. uh, so I guess I th I maybe my uh, uh, even earlier than this, mm. my impressions mm -hmm. of Japan were you know. It was very brutal. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> had a sword. And, you know. <laughs> Understand? Yes. <laughs> uh, so when you uh, watched uh, Kaiju first mm. uh, on TV, mm. uh, the, those kind of the, uh, toys available? No. No. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. So uh, it wasn't until around 1973, 74, mm. that um, I had an aunt who was uh, l living with my uncle on a, a military base mm -mm. here in Tokyo. And for one Christmas, she sent me a big box of mm -hmm. just uh, sofobi. <laughs> oh. but, but of course, I don't know what this is, right? So I opened the box. Oh, like, oh, like what? Is, oh, what is this spaceman? You know, oh. uh, it, it was Mirror Man. But, oh. but, but I don't know mm -hmm. the name. Yeah, right? I, 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 I can't read. Uh -huh. But I could read Bullmark. Oh. <laughs> so oh. that was the only English oh, right, made in Japan. Mm -hmm. uh, but all the colorful monsters, mm -hmm. uh, Zazan mm -hmm. and uh, Baltan, and you know, mm -hmm. and so that really made a very huge impression on mm -mm, me mm -mm, uh, mm -mm, when mm -mm. I was, was, was that age. Probably more than the shows mm -mm, mm -mm. because it's something you can hold. Uh -huh, uh -huh, and then for the toys mm -mm, mm -mm, in America, they were not colorful. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. G.I. Joe 12-inch, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> very realistic, mm -mm, mm -mm, but all green and flat, mm -mm, uh, mm -mm, Major Matt Mason, mm -mm, mm -mm, but basically astronaut. Mm -mm, mm -mm. And, you know, maybe one alien, but that's it. That's uh, your first experience of the kaiju sofobi. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. When you were, how old were you? Uh, so nine years nine old. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. After that, mm -hmm. when you became a collector of the. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, but what, uh, why you began? Why and yeah, uh, yeah. when? So, all after that, <laughs> I. I, I, so I'm always drawing, mm -hmm. I go to school, mm -hmm. but then of course I get interested in girls, mm -hmm. <laughs> so no toy collecting. <laughs> but then one day, I think this was maybe early college, mm -hmm. uh, so mm, maybe 90s, mm -hmm. 89, 90, mm -hmm. uh, 
I found my box uh, of old toys. Uh, 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 I was like, oh yeah, these mm, are cool. You know, mm, I'm gonna mm, put mm, these mm, on my shelf. Mm, mm, There's not that many, uh, uh, right? It may be uh, five, uh, six. Uh, you know? uh, 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 uh. And then in San Francisco, a couple of uh, shops opened, mm. and they started carrying Bondi items mm. during the eighties. Mm, 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 mm. The Ultraman again, mm, mm, you know, mm, uh, mm, mm, new versions of Balton, mm, mm, etc. So I started buying those, mm, 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 uh, and then I found Toy Shop Magazine, mm, 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 which Back then, again, no mm. internet. Mm. <laughs> uh, it would have ads mm. from Jap Japanese dealers. Mm. Oh, you you know, like vintage Japanese toys. Mm. You know, mm. fax me your want list. Mm. And so I tried to do that, mm. and slowly got more and more mm. vintage toys. Ah, I see. So, uh, how did you start your career? <laughs> so. First, I went to school mm. to be an illustrator, mm -hmm. an artist. Mm -hmm. uh, so for about twelve, thirteen years, mm. I was an artist. Mm. So you're that's artist means you're doing the commercial works or yes, yes. So advertising agencies, mm -hmm. uh, graphic design, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. lots of children's book covers. Oh. So one series is called uh, "Give Yourself Goosebumps," mm -hmm. a very big uh, mm -hmm. series in the U.S. So. That that was a good career, <laughs> but then the mm. computer, mm -hmm. uh, Photoshop came uh -huh. in, uh -huh. and all, almost all my work mm. because I did airbrush, mm. it very much looks like Photoshop. Mm -hmm. Almost all my work started going away mm -hmm. because they could do it cheaper mm -hmm. with the staff, uh -huh. right? They didn't mm -hmm. need to hire somebody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So around that era, uh, that's like maybe two thousand and let's see. <laughs> I can't remember mm -hmm. the years anymore, but um, mm -hmm. uh, it was around that time that I had to think, okay, will I go all digital for mm -hmm. my art, mm -hmm. or maybe I need to mm -hmm. switch careers. Mm -hmm. So I was looking at my toys, I was looking at my art, mm -hmm. and also talking to fellow collectors, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, we thought, oh, mm -hmm. it would be great to do like a magazine mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, in English, not mm -hmm, Japanese, mm -hmm, but just showing these types of toys mm -hmm, that we're collecting and hopefully mm -hmm, finding information that mm -hmm, we can kind of pass to mm -hmm, people. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. so, so some friends of mine mm -hmm, and I started mm -hmm. Super 7 Magazine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I did that for, you know, maybe three, four years. Mm -hmm. And then at that point, unfortunately, mm -hmm. decided, okay, <laughs> mm -hmm. not going so good. Mm -hmm. So maybe I need to do something on my own. Mm. And then that's when I decided mm -hmm. I'll do my own mm -hmm. toy company, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. Max Toy Company. Okay, so you start Max Toys, Max Toy Company uh, in the... 13 years ago. Th 13 years ago, yeah, so uh, 2000 or something. Uh, yeah, 2008, some, uh, eight? Oh. Some, uh, six. <laughs> six. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um. <laughs> and uh, um, what is the first item? First item of the Max sure. toy. So this is like the early era of mm. art toys mm. in the U.S. It's called or designer toys. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So companies like Kid Robot, mm. uh, even Super Seven. Mm. We were all uh, Michael Lau mm. uh, from Hong Kong. These are all mm. like brand new types of toys. Mm -hmm. So it's not like Hasbro or Mattel. Mm -hmm. uh, not licensed, usually mm -hmm. driven by an artist's mm -hmm. vision. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, when I started Max Toys, I already had a contact in Hong Kong mm. uh, to make toys. Mm. So I decided I'm going to come up with my own mm. superhero mm. kaiju series. Mm -hmm. So Captain Max is, oh. is my hero. Oh. Yeah, oh. like You mean Kikaida was not before? Kikai, uh, no, during during same time, same time, early yeah, early first couple uh, years. Uh, 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 uh. So I was able to also find or <laughs> get the license mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, through JP Productions mm -mm. in Hawaii mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, to do the Kikaida figure. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yes, mm -mm. I see. But I think my first love is just to do my own idea. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, so uh, Captain Max is. Uh, uh, mm. Where's this idea from? <laughs> From here, <laughs> uh, you know, my my son was very young mm -hmm. uh, during this period, but uh, had a very big influence on me. Mm -hmm. So actually, the company is named after him, Max. Mm -hmm. But the character Captain Max mm -hmm. with two X's mm -hmm. is also influenced by my son. Mm -hmm. So like, if you remove the mask mm -hmm. on the first version of the toy, mm -hmm. he has like a little dimple, and my my son has a dimple, <laughs> and then. The split hair uh -huh. is like my split hair <laughs> well, when I was younger. <laughs> um, and so, 
yeah, it's a, it's kind of a combination of of of, of Ultraman mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. Mirror Man, all the kind of heroes that mm -hmm, I mm -hmm, I grew mm -hmm. up with. Um, yeah, uh, when I see the uh, Captain Max, uh, Sophie, mm -hmm. I I I felt like I. Like uh, inspired from like uh, Japanese heroes. Yes. But yes. Uh, also, I w watched. The, uh, was, I saw your uh, illustration of the uh, Captain Max. More like an American comic. Yes. Know? Yes. Yes. You know? Well, so I'm kind of a funny blend <laughs> <laughs> of uh, American Japanese influence, but. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. my heritage is Japanese, mm -hmm. so it's kind of a, yeah, I don't know, a funny mm -hmm. hybrid <laughs> of what I'm filtering. Mm -hmm. uh, and you're correct, like mm -hmm. even the design of Captain Max, mm -hmm. uh, many Japanese fans mm -hmm. go, oh, it's very American. <laughs> but in my head, I'm thinking, uh -huh. I think it looks Japanese. Uh -huh. I see. <laughs> yeah. So, and uh, another your work, uh, mm -hmm. kind of popular work, Negora? Yes. Uh -huh. Uh, where, where's the idea from, Negora? Oh boy, so I've always loved cats. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, you know, Facebook. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> my, my two black cats. <laughs> but um, at the time, I have a partner here in Japan, mm. Mr. Yo Miyamoto-san. Mm. Uh, we thought, oh, you know, we saw a real head mm. who, who did the like the lucky cat mm, figures, mm, right? Mm. And I thought, oh, that's great, great idea. Mm, 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 but mm. I think I would like maybe more like a monster cat, kaiju mm, type mm, of cat. Mm, 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 so, you know, Yo san said, oh, well, you know, I think I might have an artist mm, you can work with. Her mm, name's Konatsu. Mm, 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 uh, mm. And, you know, maybe we can hire her to come mm. up with an idea. We'll say mm. kaiju cat and, mm, you know. Mm, 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 mm. So, we had her design the first Nagora, mm. but her design goes to our sculptor, mm. Makino-san. Mm. Uh, I think TT Toys mm. is his company. Uh, and so he took her ideas mm. and made it mm. into a sculpt. Mm. So really, the end result, the mm. end toy, is, mm. is, is, a, is a collaboration oh, between oh, oh. three people. Oh, right? oh. Nagora is uh, originally uh, uh, three people uh, collaboration. Like yes. Negora. Yes. Uh, what's the f uh, f first design or? So I would say uh, concept. Uh, concept uh -huh. Uh -huh. is myself. Uh huh. Uh, design mm -hmm. uh, Konatsu-san. konatsu -san. And sculpt mm -hmm. Makino-san. Okay. Oh. <laughs> but it, you know, mm -hmm. it's uh, it is Konatsu's character. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, after a while, mm -hmm. uh, she now does her own mm -hmm. figures, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But we still do the. Classic, mm -mm -mm. classic version. Ah, oh, I yeah, see. Yeah, mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Okay. And uh, next is uh, like a gorilla. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Crusher G. Crusher G. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Well, where is this, this idea from? So, act, so, going backwards, we have another character called uh, Psychobi. It's oh. half yeah, yeah, yeah. dinosaur, half uh -huh. mecha. Uh -huh. uh, so, that concept is uh, Pico Pico. Mm. Uh, and he. We, you know, did the sculpt, mm, 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 mm. Uh, and so basically we did the production. Mm, 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 mm. And so this is, uh, Crusher G is kind of like part of the same series. Mm, mm, yeah. Uh, half. Yeah, mm. An animal monster that's normal yeah. and the other uh, half. Mechanic mecha. and uh, yes. animal. Uh, yes. And, and, and in America, uh, gorillas or apes are very, uh, 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 <laughs> very popular, <laughs> like King Kong. Uh, yeah. He's a c cigar? Yeah, yeah, so yeah cigar. Yeah. Cigar? <laughs> yes. Why <Hope I> cigar? <laughs> <laughs> I, why not? <laughs> I think it just makes him look tougher. Like, oh. like a, maybe gangster. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Edward G. Robinson or, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, um, from now on, what, what are you planning to... Uh, from, uh, from yeah, new projects. New projects. Or, mm. uh, so... We're always <laughs> planning things. Mm, some things I can tell you on camera, <laughs> uh, but maybe some things not. Uh, uh, but mostly, I, I feel like uh, I want to get back to some of my own mm -mm. original ideas. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, as you were saying, when I mm -mm. first started off, mm -mm -mm -mm. most of the characters, mm -mm. not all, were mm -mm -mm -mm. from my own kind of series mm -mm 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 -mm. or world. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Um, and so along the way, I've... I do some of my own mm -mm -mm -mm. ideas, like mm -mm -mm. the new newer tripuses, is, mm -mm -mm -mm. you know, uh, mm -mm -mm -mm. and oh, and also the early ones were made in China, but then, but after a few years, we were able to make a 
connection to mm. make in Japan. Mm -hmm. So of course, for me, mm. that's the important, right? Because mm -hmm. it ties into the vintage toys. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes, I see. Uh, but in terms of future uh, uh, figures, um, yeah, I mean, I think I want to do a new kaiju, mm -hmm. uh, and then um, we have some licensed items mm -hmm. still that will come out. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, right now, you know, licensed items mm -hmm. are more sellable mm -hmm. <laughs> because people can recognize exactly you know, mm -hmm. who it is, or mm -hmm. they see the movie and mm -hmm. they're like, oh, you know, mm -hmm. we understand. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I still feel like I want to do my own oh, original yeah, ideas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe a, a, a special two-headed cat mm -hmm. uh, based on my uh, own, based on my own cats. Yeah. <laughs> so same thing as same thing have Marusan. You know, mm. Marusan makes Godzilla, Ultraman. Yes. But also do the Marumon. No. Oh, yes. 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 The original. Yeah. yeah original kaiju. They still do. Yes. Yes. Because uh, Marusan, how to do, mm. how to make the original. Ah uh, right right. <laughs> in right. ninety uh, six uh, ninety sixty nine. Yes. Yes. Because uh, uh, Marusan. Mm -hmm. uh, bankrupt in 1968 uh -huh. after um, produ produced um, Ultra 7 yes and uh, re uh, rebuilt next year uh, mm -hmm. 1969 as a mm -hmm. small company mm -hmm. but, um, some uh, ex-employ Malsan mm -hmm. uh, found uh, made a new company uh, established a uh, blue mark yes so blue mark took license fast Ah, uh, so Marusan, even though same uh, Blue Mark and uh, Marusan, mm. the uh, rebuild Marusan, the Blue Mark establishment at the same time, nine, 1969. Mm. And uh, Blue Mark, uh, uh, especially the uh, ex employee of Marusan who were doing uh, Vinyl Monsters. Mm. So, therefore, they did fast and uh, uh, Marusan rebuilt mm. because they couldn't take license. Right. <laughs> therefore, make. Uh, 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 original. They're original. Yeah. Ultra yeah. Ace. <laughs> yes. Yes. I have. Yes. I, I have. Uh, yeah. A giant one. <laughs> well, I have to say, in USA right now, mm. I think you have many fans mm. for your original mm -hmm. creations mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and even vintage toys. Mm -hmm. Like maybe five years ago, mm -hmm. nobody really cared, mm -hmm. but all of a sudden, American uh, 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 collectors mm -hmm. like, oh, that's that's not Godzilla. That's mm -hmm. cool, right? You know, all these extra horns. <laughs> Now the prices mm. are so expensive. Mm, 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 so, mm, 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 mm. but yeah, they're wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. So now we characters. we do both. You know, oh, yes. Same yes. time, oh. license Godzilla Ultraman series yes. and uh, Marmon. Mm. Used to be uh, in 1960s. That's uh, 1970s. Oh. Uh, it's like 1970 and 71 made many original. Mm. At that time, called Marsan's Ultra Monster. <laughs> oh, yes, now yes. It, uh, so now we call it uh, Marsan Monsters. Marmo. Ah, I see. <laughs> <laughs> so now we do both. Uh, uh, license, Godzilla, Ultra Series, and mm. uh, our original yes. uh, Marmo. I have a quick question. Sure. <laughs> so I have some Ultra Ace mm. figures, mm. Uh, but smaller size, mm. that are Marusan. Both. They are Blue Mark and Marusan, both. Oh, mm. so, so Marusan was mm. able to make mm. just small size, mm. <laughs> but not not standard mm, size. Mm. Oh, I see. That's just because <clears throat> that's a little bit complicated story. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, because at that time, main licensee was a uh, Blue Mark. Yes. Right. Uh, Malsan couldn't take license. <clears throat> right. But uh, after the new Ultraman, mm. uh, Blair Productions was uh, trying to make a new f uh, series, mm. Ultra Ace, oh. named titled Ultra Ace. Mm. But Malsan made original Ultras already. Oh. So the matter of the uh, registered to, uh, trademark. Oh. So, uh, to at uh, that time I had uh, the story mm. uh, from ex-employee. Um, the TV, TBS, that's TV mm. station people, yes. uh, contact to Marusan. Mm. And uh, they uh, like to have the Ultras name. Oh. Now, like a buy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like that, right? yeah. So, but so, uh, Malsan uh, gave up the trademark, uh, registered trademark. But instead, they have a, a small license. Oh, 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 I see. So, so kind of trade. Yeah, like a, so, so, so. that's oh. a story. Oh, okay. You know? So Malsan, uh, so, therefore, Malsan made a new uh, small Ultraman Ace. Yes, yes. And uh, and also plastic model kit. Oh. Small. Oh. 
and uh, also Ultraman Taro, some uh, plastic model gun, no Sophie, oh. some uh, gun and uh, oh. uh, like plastic model uh, mm. uh, mechanics, you know, mm. stuff. Mm. So, vehicle, mm, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh. flying source or something. Oh. Oh. So that's a oh. you know. Like a trait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, well, so then this is the, you know, for for people <laughs> like me who mm, don't mm, mm, mm. read mm. or maybe understand Japanese, mm, mm. those little pieces of information mm. I, I find very interesting. Mm, 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 and mm. now mm, I understand mm, mm. <laughs> why, you uh, know. Yeah. Yeah. And, and just, uh, me, uh, at that time, I was 11 years old, something. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, but, but, you know, when I saw the Blue Mark product first, mm. You know, first of all, it's a, like Gomez was a, mm. exactly the same figure to Marusan I used to have. Oh, right, right, right. Yes. The name is Blue Mark. So therefore, I thought, oh, Marusan changed na company name, uh, I thought. But uh, <laughs> later, Ultraman is, oh, Marusan, Blue Mark, oh, these both exist. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so then, uh, uh, later, you know, I, uh, at that time, I, why? Yeah, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> <laughs> later, I knew, oh, that story. I later, see. I knew. I, I knew. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I know. I, I always feel like history is mm -hmm. is very fascinating mm -hmm. connected to these toys. Mm -hmm. I feel like still in the U.S. Mm -hmm. people don't know mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. stories like that. So mm -hmm. hopefully, <laughs> I don't know if I can mention, but uh, we will have an exhibit mm -hmm. in. Uh, yeah in uh, Los Angeles mm -hmm. at the Japanese American Museum mm -hmm. and uh, right now it's scheduled for September oh, <laughs> so, September. <laughs> September of 2018 mm -hmm. but uh, yeah hopefully we can have you come oh, mm -hmm. to America oh, and maybe sure. mm -hmm. have some of the history mm -hmm. that you know mm -hmm. and tell the fans uh, mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. Marusan and Bulmar yeah I really look forward to see your uh, yeah. short next year right yes <laughs> 2018 and yeah. September uh, yes, it should be, I think, September 2018 to February 2019. Oh. So about oh, six... Oh, very long. Yeah, about six months. Six, six or months. So. Oh, well, yes, very well, long. I have to count. <laughs> uh, 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 from, started from September. S yeah, yes. Sept o opening will... Uh, I don't have the date, oh, but it will September. be in September. And then... Uh, it close February 2019. 29, uh, uh, February. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so, six months. So, oh. yeah. Yeah, it, it, 2018 to 2019. No, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I understand. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. And, and I think now, yeah, so hopefully you can come for yeah. that. But but uh, they will, each month, mm. they will try to have a special speaker or mm. event oh. that's connected to the mm -hmm. show. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, even if you cannot mm. make for September, mm -hmm. then there's oh. other months mm -hmm. <laughs> that, 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 you know, we can uh, mm -hmm. do that. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I like to. Okay. <laughs> so, something else you like to inform about Max Toy right now? You have any, any informa other information oh. <laughs> about Max Toys? Uh, let's see. Well, I mean, you know, <coughs> mostly uh, we are internet based. Mm -hmm. uh, although uh, Miyamoto san does all the events in Japan, so Superfest, Wonderfest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, I know many of the Japanese fans mm -hmm, mm -hmm, see him at those mm -hmm, events. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But basically, outside of Japan, I. I do all the sales through mm -hmm. my website because mm -hmm. that's the easiest. Um, mm -hmm. And I just came back from Singapore mm -hmm. Comic Con, mm -hmm. which was mm -hmm. a very amazing show, mm -hmm. and and mm -hmm. many fans mm -hmm. uh, for not only Max Toys but Japanese toys. Mm -hmm. I was mm -hmm. surprised. So uh, really, Japan's mm -hmm. uh, reach mm -hmm. not only in this region mm -hmm. of Asia mm -hmm. but all around the world is mm -hmm. is is very strong. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm sometimes I think I'm. I can't believe it, <laughs> but even like anime in United States is is very common now. Mm -hmm. Maybe ten years ago, only just small, you know, <laughs> otaku fans, <laughs> but now it's mainstream. Mm -hmm. So, I see. Okay, so I really look forward to your success of next uh, show and okay. museum as show at yes. the museum. Yes. Um, I, I like to. I really like to go and. Yes, we'll, uh, we'll, and make, we'll, we'll make sure you come. Uh, <laughs> no, no excuse. <laughs> yeah, okay. thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much. Thank you, Aegis. Okay. Yes, thank you. Okay, folks, that's all for today. Thank you for watching.